Hello my friends, I hope you're doing super duper wonderful and in today's video I'll show you how you can create this awesome animated glass morphic effect in PowerPoint. So let's go. And first of all let me show you how I have made this slide design. And it's really easy peasy lemon squeezy, I have inserted two text boxes and two circles. And to create this kind of circle you would have to use a radial fill with two color stops. You can see the exact hex codes on the screen and you can see the exact positioning and transparency of each of the colors. As you can see I have used a little bit of transparency for the first color. And next we have two beautiful text boxes. And now this beautiful font that I'm using is called Hanson, link is in the video description if you'd like to get it as well. And now the text itself is filled with a beautiful linear gradient fill made out of four color stops. That's looking delicious. And now for the text box at the bottom I have used the gradient fill as well and this time added just one more color so that we have five beautiful colors in the mix. And once those beautiful circles and text boxes were ready I just selected everything, copied and pasted as a picture. And I did that because once we have our slide design as a picture we can apply any picture effect that we wish to our slide design. Let's say we'd like to add a grainy look, boost saturation or adjust picture color temperature. We could do all of those things. And to create this look that you see right now, I have applied a film green effect, then I boosted saturation and color temperature to the max and added a little bit of transparency so that the effect doesn't look so intense. And then I just saved the whole slide as a picture and placed it on top of the rest of the slide. And then I have added a maximum blur to that picture on top. And after that I have inserted a simple circle and then I made sure to select the blurred slide picture first, then the circle and then I went to merge shape functions and chose intersect. Skadoosh, this is the result I got and after that I just added some white inside shadow to create a frosty look. And finally I have duplicated the slide, selected the circle, selected the crop tool, repositioned the circle and applied a morph transition to the second slide. And this is how this awesome animated glass morphic effect was created in PowerPoint. And now my dear friends, let's do it together step by step. Ok my friends, so let's just find a nice beautiful slide that we can start working on and first of all let's just insert a couple of text boxes. And by the way if you are wondering my PowerPoint version is PowerPoint Microsoft 365. And as I have mentioned this beautiful font is called Hanson, it's absolutely free, if you'd like to get it as well link is in the video description. And now for the first text box I'm using font size of 190 and for the second text box I'm using font size of 125. And now my friends we have to fill these white text boxes with these beautiful gradient fills and to do that faster let me just select this first text box and let's hit Ctrl Shift C to copy the style. Ok let's get back to our slide, let's select the first text box and hit Ctrl Shift V to paste that beautiful text gradient fill. That's beautiful. And now let's do the same for the second text box. And now if we wish we can select both of the text boxes, let's just group them into a single group and let's align everything to the center so that everything sits nicely in the center. Alright and next let's insert a couple of circles, you can hold down the shift key to draw perfect circles and just position them anywhere that you wish. And once again let me grab that beautiful radial gradient fill from my previous slide, Ctrl Shift C to do that and Ctrl Shift V to paste that beautiful fill. And now let's just send this beautiful circle to back so that it is behind the text and let's give it a little bit of rotation. Let's just copy that circle and let's place this second guy somewhere right over here. Alright so now since the slide design is ready let's make sure that we select everything, hold down the shift key, select the circles and select the text boxes and now let's just hit ctrl x to cut everything and let's hit ctrl v to paste and let's make sure that we paste as a picture. Ok so since our slide design is now a picture we can start applying picture effects to our slide design. And first of all let's just go to artistic effects and let's find film grain, let's click on it to apply it and now for the grain size I'm using 50. That's beautiful. Ok my friends and next let's jump to the picture color options, it should be somewhere right here, ok. And let's just boost the saturation and the temperature to the maximum, that's good. And now let's just add a little bit of transparency to reduce the intensity of our effect and I think it's looking beautiful. Ok and the next step is to save this whole slide as a picture and one quick way to do that is just to play your presentation and hit print screen to copy the slide or you can hit shift windows key and s to copy your whole screen. Ok now let's just hit ctrl v to paste that screenshot and as you can see we have the screenshot on top and below we have our slide. 
So let's make sure that the screenshot is in the center of the slide and now let's just apply a maximum blur effect to our screenshot. Ok, so on top we still have our screenshot, that's good, and below we have our slide. So let's just make sure that we keep the blurred uh, screenshot in the center of the slide and now let's just insert a circle. Place it any way you wish and now let's make sure that we select the blurred screenshot first, hold down the shift key, select the circle, now let's go to merge shapes and let's choose intersect. And this way we have cropped the blurred screenshot to a circle. And now to make that circle a little bit more interesting, let's add a white inside shadow and this way create a frosty glass morphic look. And at the same time let's add a subtle white line to this circle. The width I'm using is one point and for the transparency let's add 20%. Ok, and now let's just duplicate our slide, we can just select our slide and hit Ctrl D or just right click and choose duplicate slide. And on the duplicate slide let's select the circle, let's go to picture format and let's click on crop. And now make sure that you're not grabbing that black handle, just grab that subtle line and drag your circle to a new position and once you're done just click on crop to finalize the changes. And after that let's make sure that we apply the morph transition to the second slide, morph transition will do all of the animation magic. Ok, so let's check it out on the full screen. Super duper awesome. And now this effect is pretty much finished, but let me show you one more trick that will make this glass morphic design glow. Let's go! So let's make sure that we select our slide design and as you remember it is a picture, so let's just duplicate it and let's make sure that it sits directly on top of the first copy, ok? And now let's jump into the artistic effects, let's find that blur effect and let's set it to the max. And right away as you can see we get that beautiful glow effect. And to make it less intense let's just send it to back so that on the top we have our grainy design and at the bottom we have our blurred design. And now let's make sure that we copy and paste this blurred slide design to the second slide as well, let's center it and let's send it to back. And this is what we have created my friends, looks super awesome. And of course feel free to insert as many circles as you wish, as you can see on this slide we have two circles, but in this case I would recommend going into the selection pane and renaming your circles. Make sure that you start the names of your circles with double exclamation marks and use the same name on both slides. This way Morph Transition will know which circle to animate. And you have probably noticed a couple of logos that we have here in the corners of the slide. And first of all I want to say huge thanks to all of my friends on Patreon, because of you I can keep on doing what I'm doing, creating the best PowerPoint tutorials that I can. Tutorial slides will be uploaded to Patreon and will be available to all of my supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much. And next we have NordVPN which keeps me secure while browsing the internet, that's very important. And finally we have Artlist which helps me to find the right music, sound effects and footage for my videos. Check out all of the links in the video description and if you have enjoyed today's video please give it a like and subscribe so that you don't miss my future videos. Thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.